So what are some things you can do when someone's gaslighting you? The truth is, if you see this over and over as a pattern, it's time to reevaluate this relationship, friendship, or whatever it is. It's time to evaluate what you want for your life and the types of interactions you want with others. And get really clear with yourself on how you're going to move forward with that. Is this time for you to leave? Is this time for you to back way off to low contact? Is this time to set some boundaries about the types of things you'll communicate about? Are you going to stay? And if so, what's the relationship going to look like? Because this can't keep going on, right? How are you going to, obviously you can't engage in it. You can't, once someone starts gaslighting, like I said, they're not going to stop. They're going to keep gaslighting until you're in a state of befuddlement, confusion, submission, reactivity, whatever it is, they're going to, they're going to have to, they have to win. Okay. There's a competition thing that happens at that point and they have to win. So unfortunately yelling at them every day, isn't going to help you because it's not going to stop them. The best suggestion I have here is learn to gray rock really, really well. If you can't get out of the situation and you learn to find your truth inside yourself and really not worry what their opinion is. If you can get to a place where you look at any other human being and you think that's an interesting point of view, not in a sarcastic way, but truly, oh, you think really different. That's an interesting point of view without any reaction, knowing that your point of view is equally interesting to other people, right? Like you don't have to win. They don't have to win. And I get it. They're gaslighting over stuff that's actually hurtful. And so, or they're lying about you or they're, you know, their, their interesting point of view might be you just cheated on me when you have not left the house and no one's been around. Right. So, or their interesting point of view might be, you know, it could be anything that isn't true. And so of course the feeling of defending yourself, but the reality is that they're trying, they're provoking you. Okay. They're provoking things. And so you have to see it for what it is. It is manipulation. Once it starts, manipulation, game on. Do you want to play? And that is, that's how I've done it, is when I've had to be around toxic people who gaslight me. I think in my head, oh, manipulation, game on. Do I want to play? And usually it's like, no, I'm halfway into it, right? Already defending, already <laughs> provoked. And then it's like, oh, yeah, gray rock. Oh, yeah. Interesting point of view. Wow. Listen to them. I don't say that. If you say wow to a narcissist, they're going to, wow, don't wow me, you know? So it's about learning just like when a toddler's having a tantrum, how you don't engage in it. You don't scream and yell at them for having a tantrum. You kind of either walk away or take their hand and lead them somewhere they can tantrum safely, or you, you know, you, you manage it through not engaging with the tantrum itself. You let the child find their balance. Well, these are like emotional children. Should you have to do this with another adult? Absolutely not, right? And is it your responsibility? Absolutely not. However, if you can't leave or you don't wish to leave, there is a responsibility you have for yourself, to yourself, on how you are going to conduct your life, regardless of what that other toxic moron is doing. <laughs> okay, sorry, I don't usually name call, but gaslighting to me, is the most childish form of communication, period. It is, I told you so. I know you are, but what am I? Oh, look, there, it's you. You did it. You know, like, oh, are you kidding me? Here we go. Are you kidding me? Where did the adult I was talking to go? Where did the, like, person who seems to have logic go? How can you have logic and talk like this? right? A lot of narcissists are pretty bright. Some of them are not at all. And some of them are pretty bright. And you're thinking, if you're so smart, you're so clever that you can run a business and you can do this and you can do that, but you can't have a conversation about leaving the toilet seat up or, or a conversation about like, you know, not wanting to be late to a party together. Like, why is that? Why is that the thing that makes you have to have an absolute meltdown and turn everything into a giant huge, right? Here's the thing. Gaslighting is a manipulation that, that affects the other person's mind because it is so far from the truth and so twisted about your truth. So they're taking your truth and your reality, twisting it up. Of course, anyone would have a reaction to that if they were just thrown into it, right? They would know, no one would sit there and go, oh yeah, that's how it was. Okay. No, they'd say, wait, no, 
No, that's not, wait, that's not the reality, right? You did say that. We all remember. We all heard it. So how are you, you know, it's that plus it's the twisting of that with the complexity of it and the fact that we react to it. So you react to it and you say, no, that's, that's not what happened. This is what happened. And they, and then they lie and they twist and they lie and they twist to the point where you're like, I don't even care. Right. And, or you're like, oh my gosh. And you, and you go into something. So if somebody just randomly walked in the room and found you in the puddle that you are after a massive gaslighting episode, what would that person think of you? Just like, imagine the scene where you're on the play is on stage, screen opens, person on a puddle on floor in the state you get in after you've been massively gaslit. And that's the only thing the person sees when they walk in. Uh, that person needs some help. That person needs some intervention. That person needs something. They're not okay, right? You don't see, oh my gosh, that person was gaslit so bad. Oh, poor baby, they're knocked to the ground. They're knocked to the ground emotionally. Let's help them get back up and see the truth. Let's validate them. You don't see that. You see... And so that's what they're banking on. So if they can stockpile information about how you get crazy, well, then they can very calmly in their detached narcissistic way, tell other people about all the crazy stuff you did without any emotional reaction. Now, when we're talking about them, we're like, oh my gosh. And then they did this. I can't even believe it. How can people act like that? We're saying it with all this emotion, which makes us look like we're making it up. Do you get what I'm saying here? This is what they're banking on. This is what they are doing to twist realities and to make sure that that's cemented into everybody else's reality and truth. So again, we have to gray rock it. I mean, you can't even yellow rock this stuff. You have to gray rock it. There's no engaging with it. You can engage very coolly. That isn't how it happened. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can say it's not gonna help. Best thing is, is just to let it wind its way all the way up all the way back down without letting it in. Remembering that person's in a gaslighting fit right now. That person's having their strange twisted point of view thrown at me, okay? It's not my problem, let them.